you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and today we have another candidate running for mayor of the city of Brockton. This is our special candidates edition for the September preliminary election. We have Mike Carroll. Welcome, Mike. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Same. First time candidate. Yes. Going for the top, going I for the am. top job. I am. What brought you into the race? Um, just overall disappointment with the way the city is at this time. Okay. Um, you want to be... You want to be more specific and talk about what you're disappointed uh, in. Is it taxes is it, raise? You okay. know, taxes keep going up. I don't really see it. I look at it as my tax money as an investment. Mm -hmm. I'm not really seeing a return on my investment. I think the city struggles with generating revenue other than taxes. I think that's something I'd like to change the most out of everything. And once we have the money, we can give it back to where it's needed, like education or the police. You get an idea on how you would generate revenue? Uh, yes, I would like to do tax incentives different from what's already offered, customizable. Uh, they could be tiered based on in, you know, the number of employees or even if they had a certain percentage of employees they hired who live in Brockton, that could be another possible credit. So or I know they have like tax increment financing, which is current existing yes. tax incentives. I think we need to do a little bit better. And okay. I think if we were to look at um, surrounding cities or towns, most likely cities, and offer them a little bit of a better deal to offset, you know, the insurance they have for their business, um, that is also higher than surrounding towns. I think that's very important in getting people to come here. Okay, so let's talk the Mike Carroll story. Oh, okay. I just met you for the first time. Yeah. You haven't run for public office before. No. Not, no disqualification to running. Everybody runs the first time. Yeah, I did. Everybody else does. What do you bring to the table in terms of experience, your life experience, your work experience, in order to be the CEO of the city? Oh, I mean, uh, I've been a <coughs> resident of the city for the past 14 years. I bought my house nine years ago, so I think I was 25 when I purchased it. Um, I've been a food service director for the past six and a half years. It's not limited to just running a dietary department. I'm on the safety committee, the emer emergency management committee, quality assurance and quality improvement committee, uh, and a couple other smaller committees. Um, I think my current job fits more in a mayor role and day-to-day -day super, you know, watching uh, leadership. Okay, supervisor, leader. Okay. Um, did anything specifically get you into this race or, or just general? I mean, just general disappointment is yes. fine. You yeah. don't need to go further. Uh, that's than pretty that. much it. Okay. Um, what are you hearing when you're going out there? You had to gather signatures to get on the ballot. Um, you're probably going around knocking on doors, maybe asking people if you have a sign to put up a sign or to just yeah. vote for you. What I, are you hearing from the constituents? Um, overall, they're not happy. I was a little shocked at the amount of people who say they're not happy, but again, you know, people are going to tell you certain things when you're in front of their face, so it's only face value to me. Um, but overall, the consensus was people just weren't happy. Okay. Um, Do you know what they're not happy about? What are they talking about? Are they talking about <laughs> crime? Are they talking about taxes? What, I, just what about everything. I don't think there's any one specific thing. I mean, crime does come up a lot in education, of course, um, but overall, just not happy. So you said you came here 14 years ago. Did, were you in the schools here? Or no, no, I okay. grew up, um, I went to Acton Boxborough okay. Regional High School okay. in Middlesex County, so quite a difference. Mm -hmm. And what, what brought you to Brockton? I had family here. My grandmother lived here. Mm -hmm. um, that's, there you go. Okay. And, and I've been coming to Brockton since I was a child, like a baby, I think one years old. Okay, there you go. So. Um, Let's talk some of the issues. The, there's a proposal on the table from the mayor to the council to buy the desalinization plant instead of renting it for $6 million a year and not getting a drop of water out of it. Yes. What do you think of that? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Is there a better idea? <clears throat> Based off everything I understand and know, I would say it's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I think there's too many unanswered questions. Uh, my biggest concern would be, would those employees then become city employees, which is still up in the air, and I, I'm led to believe that's what they'd like to do. Um, another question I noticed on the paperwork <coughs> for the trust that owns that, I noticed they added, it was either four or six managers the year we were going to purchase them. Mm -hmm. So I think it had two, and then it either went up to four or six total. Okay. Um, that was another question I would have. Uh, buildings over 10 years old, tend to have problems. 
Mm -hmm. uh, this one clearly has deficiencies. Um, I don't agree with the $1 million valuation on maintenance and upkeep. I think that's something you can't really predict. You can get a rough estimate, but prediction like that, I don't believe it. And from my understanding, this is all to save us a little over a million dollars a year, I think. What about MWRA that's been put on the table? That I, I'm not fully educated on. Okay. I mean, I hear it's a 50-50 split. That's something I really need to do a little bit more um, educating myself. Okay, on. so what about schools? Schools is a big issue. They're talking about now, finally, Brockton in 93 sued the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. At the time, it was uh, Webby versus Dukakis. He, Webby was the library director. His daughter was in the schools. Dukakis was the governor at the time. Turned into... McDuffie, then it turned into Hancock. I don't know who they're going to name the latest lawsuit about, but it's to get Brockton's fair share. Do you think that's a good idea to sue the state? I don't, I mean, it's, I think part of their obligation to uh, pursue money. I don't think that's a long-term fix. Um, I believe they want to do that and pass Prop 2.5, mm -hmm. which I look at that as a Band-Aid because that's not going to maintain salary increases. Uh, new retirees, pensions, uh, the overall cost of goods and services go up every year. Um, I think they won't even break even. I would like to see the school try to generate some revenue in its own way. Mm -hmm. uh, I had mentioned before I'd like to see them offer two or three, uh, three to five certificate programs, something like a tech school, but I know that can be a conflict of interest with Southeastern. Uh, I'm not sure necessarily. Um, not necessarily. But, I mean, I've but, heard. But a they have of a community things. school program, and yes. they do offer courses. They're not for credit. They're they're mostly yes. enrichment courses yes. and stuff yes. like that. But I mean, there's only two ways to have money for a budget: to tax or to make revenue. And I, there, there really aren't more than that. Yeah. And or I, to get a pile of money from the state or the federal government, which you're probably not going to do no, anymore. Not, yeah. So. Um, let me ask this question. There, there are, I think, I think there are five challenges to the mayor. Okay. I believe so. Differentiate yourself. Tell us why, and I'm gonna, I don't know what I have left for time. I think I'm probably close to the five minute mark, but I have six. Okay, so I want you to tell me why you would be a better choice than the guy that has the office. Um, currently, I don't see him, tr I mean, I know he's making an effort for revenue. I just don't feel he's doing it the appropriate way. I mean, I'm all for revitalizing downtown. I just don't think that's the right step at the right time. I think we should start on the outside of the city and work our way in. I mean, for the city to maintain its economy, mm -hmm. you're going to need surrounding towns to come and spend their money. I don't see that happening. Um, with the perception of Brockton, as is, I think that's uh, a large struggle that it's going to take years to get over. How would you change the perception of Brockton. I get oh. angry when people say to me, you're from Brockton, oh my hey, God, I what get you it do? all the time. You're down in Taunton, you work down in Taunton. Yes, I do. Taunton's a city too, Taunton. Yep. Cities have issues, all I cities have, have issues. Absolutely. But what would you do to change the image of Brockton? The, the mayor is the chief, I guess, cheerleader in a sense, as to getting people to say, no, we're a good place, this is why, and what, yep. what would you do? I mean, I think promoting uh, positive things is a big part. I think this is something that Many pieces are going to have to come together to get this. I would start with the basics. I would start cleaning up the main roads, you know, entering into Brockton that are not appealing. I mean, if I was a new business and I drove into Brockton, I would look around and say, I don't know if I'd want to come here. Then factor in the insurance rate on top of that. And I think that's one of the reasons why we have such a hard time luring in new businesses. You mean insurance rate for commercial or, or oh, resident? Yeah, commercial. Car, car commercial. insurance in Brockton it is, is the highest of the state. It is. Yeah. It used to be the car theft capital of the world. Yeah. I don't think it still is, yeah. but it, 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 if you if I did my car in Easton right now, I know my, my car insurance would be lower. Um, so the cleanup they do once a year isn't enough for you. you I know. Much, I, many more cleanups. No, I mean, I was just speaking with somebody the other day about... Um, you know, you're coming from Easton into Brockton, Belmont Street. Mm -hmm. That's been under construction for two years. So I get that that should be done by the end of the year, so they say. Uh, but that pile of concrete um, pipes have been sitting there for well over a year. Or mm -hmm. the granite slabs for the sidewalk has been there. I don't understand why that's allowed to just be out in the public for all to see as driving into the city. I think when you're going to enter a city, it should look nice. Yep, no. that's for sure. No. So look, at, I think I have three. I'm going to give you two. 
if you want to talk directly to the voters, please tell us how to get in touch with you, your website, your phone <coughs> number, whatever, and sell yourself. Forget about right. me. I'm not here. All right. Well, uh, if you'd like to get a hold of me, you can reach out on my website, electmikecarroll.com. <coughs> it's two R's, two L's. I'm also on Facebook. You can search Mike Carroll uh, Brockton, or you could give me a call at 508 846 3099. I think one of the main reasons what sets me um, apart from the rest of the people running is I'm going after revenue and cutting back in local government spending. I think it's a necessity. We need to, you know, reel it in. It, not saying we have to have huge uh, cuts in the system. By scraping pennies, it will add up to be millions. Uh, making little changes here and there. Uh, if we have to sacrifice just a little bit, I think that's the responsible thing to do. We sacrifice until we're stable. I think education is extremely important for the future generation, along with police and, uh, and fire, I mean, and other organizations that help the community. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we should be helping them, those who help the community and we give back as well. Uh, the biggest issue with all of that is we need to find the money before we do so. So revenue. Yeah, revenue, 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 like revenue. Instead of real estate, real estate, real estate, yeah, you're talking about. I'm, re and I get, I'm totally against raising taxes any more than we already have been. Um, but I would be focusing on cleaning up the city, revenue, and policing the streets. Okay. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mike. Same. We'll, we'll talk to you some more. Thank you for having me. Watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more candidates for mayor city council at large, city council, and school committee. But most of all, educate yourself about all the candidates and absolutely make sure you get out and vote. September 19th is the preliminary. Thank you for joining us.